All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This video is an exciting one. Basically, we're moving out of the garage, the old detached garage that we've been working out of for about the last two and a half years, we are moving out of. Slow, slow progress. You know, it's gonna be over probably the next month and a half or so. But let me give you a quick update on where we are with this thing. So we're back from up north for the holidays. 3,000 has been sitting. Uh, I have about 186 zinc coated bolts and nuts showing up today. And that will allow me to finish putting the engine back together, but I still need to paint uh, the valve covers and the plenum. And then basically uh, the engine is ready to go all go back together with all the new hardware. So once that's done, then I gotta throw the clutch on, that's right here. I gotta replace the friction disc on the Fidanza flywheel, so I have a new one of those laying around somewhere. And then uh, I have to finish the transmission, which is replacing this output shaft gasket, and then drilling and tapping a new drain plug. So once those things are done, there'll be a couple little odds and ends on top of that, but those are all the main things we'll be ready to drop it all back into the car here. And then I, I got some Tessa tape. I'm gonna recover uh, some sections of the harness and we're just gonna clean the whole harness up and then hook everything back up. And basically I wanna get this thing uh, to the point where it is a running car again, enough for me to drive it onto the trailer to bring it to the new garage. Now I'm sure that I've mentioned it over the last year and a half, but for the last 18 months, Morgan and I have been building a house about two hours south of here still in Florida and that house is gonna have a new garage and this is the start of the garage build out that uh, I will be doing it is a three and a half car garage it has a double door and then a single door on the outside and that that third bay that single bay is extended so that's like the car and a half uh, bay that's where you get that car and a half from so that area is going to double as my office all Stance Coast stuff, so for shipping and all that thing, all that stuff, building out parts. And then it's also gonna be our new workspace. And uh, we have a lot of exciting things to do to the garage, and this video will be the start of it. So it's brand new. So like we don't even have garage door openers in the garage yet. So that will be a project for later in this video, but we're gonna do everything from lighting. We're gonna use the same Barina lights that we put up here uh, in this garage. Gonna leave these guys here, but I only have, I think, was it five? Five here and they do a lot. Wait till you see the lighting in the new garage. I only I already hung two bulbs. It's I got the screw -in bulbs with like the LED panels and it's pretty darn bright. I have, I think 16, 16 Barina, uh, five foot Barina, are they five foot, four foot, whatever they are, Barina tubes that are also gonna be hung up on that same switch. It is gonna be like a surgical room in that garage. Uh, we have an Armor Poxy garage floor coating that we're gonna be doing in a future video, but you know, a lot of things to make this space my own. This is my, this will be my first brand new space personalized space spot that I can really make mine from the start. So that's why I don't want to really rush into it. Um, but you know, it's going to be a pain to move all this stuff out of this garage down there, but that'll come in time. So without further ado, I'm going to finish, uh, packing up some things that I want to bring down on this trip. We got the house last weekend and, uh, we just kind of jumped into doing some things, security, uh, some smart devices and things like that so that we can control the house when we're away and we can keep an eye on things. But this time we're gonna be going down and we're gonna start doing some more stuff inside the house and that's where I'm gonna start with the garage. So I'm looking forward to showing you guys. I just need to finish packing some stuff up and then once I'm done work, we're gonna head down and I'll get to show you guys probably tomorrow. I'll show, or tonight, we'll see. We'll see, but I'll show you guys the new space that we will be working out of. And I guess the official new home of Stansco at that point, and probably the long-term home of Stansco. So let's finish this up and then uh, head on down south. All right, we're here. We're at the new house. So this, it's dark. We'll do this again tomorrow when the sun's up. I think it's gonna rain, but we'll do it anyways. So this is our third bay right here kind of recessed off the second bay but then it extends further down the house and this is our two car section 
Um, that's like regular depth, uh, I think 22, 22 feet maybe, something like that. And then we have a pretty long driveway. I mean, the Escalade still has room to go back, but then uh, we could still fit another Escalade in front of it, you know, and uh, two cars wide coming all the way up and then it splits out for this third bay right here. And then um, over there, we're gonna be doing uh, a spot for the trailer. And uh, eventually we want to extend the driveway basically from like right there all the way up and back, whether it being gravel to get started or uh, paved, probably gravel to get started, um, but somewhere we can put the trailer back there and all that next to the house. And then we're gonna do like a fence to block that off. But I'll show you the good part. So here's the garage, two car side. So we're gonna do the Audi. We're gonna do uh, the black V. And then here's our third bay. So this will be the working side, that side over there. So we will do the uh, 3000 first, right in here. And this is our extension back here. So I'm thinking up against that back wall is gonna be my desk. Uh, this will be my office space back here. And then um, I'll have some sort of configuration. Probably I'm thinking tools on this wall, Stansco stuff on this wall. Uh, I'll do toolboxes, workbench and stuff like that. But we should have a pretty good amount of space, technically less space than what we have right now because we have a four car. But as far as working space goes, I think probably have more working space at the end of the day. But I replaced these two light bulbs with the panel LED lights and it's very bright in here. It's a little dark back here in the corner, but we're gonna do tomorrow, we're gonna jump into garage door openers. So we have one for each, everything's pre-wired. So I have to hang the, uh, I got some extra angle here so that um, we can create some brackets off the uh, rafters and then hang each motor and do all that stuff. So that's gonna take some time because we're doing an install from scratch here. So I gotta do both sides. They're uh, Genie smart openers so we can control them with the phone and all that. Uh, and then I have 16 Barina light fixtures here. And what I'm thinking is uh, in this, this back part, I'm gonna go four in a row um, I was, I think, as of right now, uh, before I lay it out, I'm thinking four in a row here, and then we're gonna do four above each car. So we'll have uh, four going this way above this car, and then four above each car there. And what I'm going to do is I have these little like socket adapters where I can plug the barinas into those sockets, and uh, assuming I can get all the lengths correct, um, plugging the barinas into those sockets, I will be able to um, control it over here with the light switch. So, yeah, that way, one flip of the switch, this place should turn into a operating room, basically. So, tomorrow's project. And then, if we have time, which I'm hoping we do, um, I'm gonna do a full acid wash on this floor so that we can prep it to potentially next week do the epoxy. Another little added bonus here, we got ourselves a Senville 18,000 BTU uh, mini split. So this garage, we're gonna go through the process of insulating those doors and we're gonna have a, put a mini split, I think up here or up here. Yeah, probably up here on this wall right here. Um, so that'll be cool to have my own AC space and heated space, but mainly air conditioning in the summer here in Florida. It gets pretty brutal and like the window AC unit that I have right now can barely keep up with the garage space we're in. It's also not insulated at all. So I'm super hyped to have air conditioning next summer in the garage. I can work with the doors closed and be comfortable in here. Also, you know, if my office is in here, that's why I really want it to, uh, to be AC air climate controlled. Other plans as of right now, I have a TV mount. I'm not sure where it's going to go. I have a 40 inch TV that's going to be going out here. I'm kind of thinking on the corner 
If I mount it to, that way I can swing the TV facing like this way if I'm working over here or have it facing out if I'm working out here. Um, that's kind of what I was thinking there. We will eventually be doing a projector screen that will come down on this wall. Uh, that way we can have people over for football games and things like that and uh, formula drift, what it, whatever it may be. We can have some watch parties. Uh, this wall though, I've been tossing around the idea of painting this wall black, this outside wall as a black accent wall. And uh, by doing that, uh, it'll be all black. And then I was thinking of doing like some kind of like Stansco neon sign to hang on the wall right here. That way when the drift car is here, have a black wall, neon sign, all the lights above. I think it'll just create a cool vibe. Um, that's kind of what I'm going for. I'm like taking my time to just create a cool atmosphere that will be good for videos and just a good place to hang out in. All right, what's going on guys? So next day, I started working on the garage door because I wanted to get an idea on how to do it first. Um, so we got it hung, leveled, hung from the ceiling. I still got to finish the wiring and then connect it to the actual door itself. So I got to install the bracket there, but I want to get the whole hanging part down first uh, so that I can take measurements uh, to know what I need to do for this door. So I'm gonna put time lapse on here. Gonna try and get this door all hooked up and all that jazz and uh, try and get this wrapped up so we can move on to the next project. So I got these little light socket adapters here. They'll screw in and then I'm uh, hoping I can then run the barinas uh, off of that. There are outlets up there, again, where like the opener is gonna go, but um, by doing it this way, I'm gonna be able to uh, run the barinas off the switch. So the barinas come with jumpers. So extended jumpers, which we're gonna be using these. And then they come with a hardwire option like this. Then they come with a plug-in option like this with a switch on it. And this, this is why I use back at the garage now, but ultimately I'm gonna be using this and I can leave that switch in the on position. And uh, oh, this is just another plug-in one. So you have the option to either hardwire or to switch it. And, uh, for now, I think we're going with the plug-in option with those adapters. Um, maybe in the future we'll hardwire, I don't think so, but the option's there. So I'm going to lay these out, see what kind of distance I'll get with the jumpers, and uh, I guess kind of go from there. All right, so just with four barinas, no, just kidding. Just with three barinas and this guy, like this side was bright, which is that. Now look at the difference in brightness. So once I start putting it up, now disclaimer, I will uh, secure those cables up to the ceiling. Uh, but for right now, they're just hanging until everything's like done, done. But stretching it out as far as I could from there, 
These guys are evenly spaced. Um, I might throw the fourth back there. I don't know yet. So I'm just gonna, instead of jumping and doing it, I'm just gonna let it be for a bit. And I'm going to, I have the four that I'm gonna go that way. And then I have the four on each side here. So it's gonna be bright in here. I'm very pleased with just that as an improvement. And it's like a warmer white too. Like that, those are very, the screw and bulbs are a very cool white. These are a little warmer, which I like. So gives us some good color. So I think what I'm gonna do to move forward, I just realized they didn't feed our pre-wire wires through there for the other garage door opener. So I'm gonna have to go up into the attic and uh, figure out where they come through, drill a hole, send the pre-wires through. Uh, this house, it's nice. They did, you know, they got these lines. So with the pre-wire, we had the spots for the uh, sensors, the lines come out right there, and then the lines come out over here at the handle or at the button. So it makes it easy to put this stuff up and it goes up to the, to the thing. So I'll have to drill a hole over there and feed it through. But now I'm going to start the lights on the Audi side of the garage. So four are gonna come off of that light, come over here. Four are gonna then come off the other outlet on that light and go to that side. Just like that, we got the two sides over here done. So from the light, it's still hanging, but we got that piece going out to this light, which daisy chains to this light, to this light, to this light, which jumps straight across to this light, here, here, ends here. Now, these lights, it says for the four foot lights to, um, you can't put more than eight in one chain. So that's eight right there, good to go. The only ones left to do will be this side. So I'll do that once that garage door's hung. So we're almost done with the lights. And then again, I'll do some cable management. Obviously, I'm not gonna have these things dangling down while they are, when they're done. So cable management, last four lights, and we should have ourselves a pretty bright garage. Next, what I'm gonna do is start cutting in this wall. So like I said, I have the black paint. So I'm gonna cut in down the sides. I'm gonna cut it across the top and down that side. And then I'm gonna cut in around the uh, breaker box here. That way, uh, that'll all have plenty of time to dry so that after we do the epoxy and then we're finally ready to uh, paint this wall black, uh, everything will be dry, all the cut-ins, and uh, we should be good to go. painted wall sort of I ran out of paint so apparently the cinder block soaked up a gallon pretty quickly uh, to get in all the little holes and stuff <clears throat> and you can see I will have to just go through a couple little spots where the roller still wasn't getting up in there so I'll just go through the brush and touch up those little light spots but otherwise I think it looks pretty good the bottom is gonna be uh, epoxy at the bottom of the brick but I think it looks pretty good. Accent wall, I mean, I know it's not much to see, like much to look at right now, but backing out from it, once the toolboxes and stuff are up against there, and once we have a car here and a little neon sign action there, I think it'll look pretty cool. So today what we're gonna do, I'm, I've been moving everything out of here and we are going to etch the floor. So, we got the armor epoxy stuff. Um, basically, we're using the armor epoxy full kit for the garage, and it starts with a powdered etch, and they give you this etch concentrate. So, we got a mixing bucket, five gallon mixing bucket, and then we got a little pail there to spread it around. So, we'll be mixing this. Uh, etch up so um, 
and sweeping it around. So bring you guys along through that process. And that way, this floor will be prepped for epoxy next weekend. And uh, hopefully then next weekend on Friday, I can finish this wall. That way we will be good to go for the epoxy. I cut in and everything. So I got all the cut in stuff done. I came down around this water pipe, uh, the hose line that comes down and goes to the wall. Got down in the corner there. So everything's cut in. I just need to finish rolling um, that section right there. And then, like I said, touch up just a couple spots. But otherwise, lights are up, lights are bright. Still got the ones to do here. Let's start uh, etching this floor. like that we have an etched floor it's basically just citric acid uh, that you mix up in the water and you spread around so now that, that is done I'm gonna let it dry it's almost completely dry uh, any of the low spots uh, where water is pooling I just kind of swept it to move it along and uh, we're looking pretty good here we'll just have the water that's in the expansion joints clear out let that dry but Back here, we're all good. Not too bad, not an easy process so far. So next week, we will then be ready to lay the epoxy. It's gonna be a two day process. I will re record the process as we go. Um, that's gonna be Morgan and I tackling this one. Uh, we'll have a full week for this, all the rest of this water to dry, which shouldn't be a problem. And then uh, it's gonna be Friday, I'm gonna try to get my hands on some more paint so that I can finish this wall. Once the wall's done, then first thing Saturday morning, we are going to be laying down the epoxy base coat and the chips, letting it dry through the rest of the day and into the next morning where Sunday, we will be laying down the, uh, the glaze coat, the top coat uh, to make it have that nice glossy smooth appearance and finish. So from there, we'll let us sit another week and then we'll be able to start using the garage floor again, probably bring a car down uh, just to get it out of the way up at the other house uh, as we start the whole moving process. All right, so with that, I'm gonna wrap up today's video. A weekend long video. We have a prepped garage. We have a half painted black wall. We got a garage door and we got lights up. So this week, I'm gonna get the rest of the things I need for the garage door opener. No rush to do that on the small door, no big deal. And then, uh, yeah, we're making good progress here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are excited to see this space get built out over the next few weeks for future videos to take place in and for us to start working out of and for us to ultimately make the move to. So thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, drop a comment below, whatever it may be. Uh, I'm gonna jump in next with a 3000 GT video. Uh, I don't know if I, I think I mentioned it, but I got like, a bag full of bolts. We can start putting things back together on that thing. So we're going to start getting the 3000 back together and moving forward on that. So that'll be the next video. And then uh, next weekend, we're going to be back here epoxying these floors with the armor epoxy kit. So again, thanks for watching guys. And we'll see you in the next one.